grab our blue untextured carton of milk here. What was that? Hello YouTube, it's Balemore here back again with more Blind Gaming and a new LP for the channel. Hooray, this one's called Anatidephobia. Uh, Anatidephobia? It's probably Anatidephobia, but forgive my pronunciation if it's wrong. And it's a fear of being out of milk. For the PC, of course, I'll leave a link down below in the description of this little, uh, we'll call it a demo. I think it's a short, short indie horror game, but I'll leave a link in the description for you guys you want to check it out for yourselves these little uh snippet horror games we'll just call them if they get popular enough the game dev does kind of add to it so when you play this game it may look and feel completely different than what you're about to see as a quick disclaimer i am blind i've got no center vision only my peripherals so if i can do this you most certainly can do it as well let's go out to the game site real quick and see what the story is about and i'll meet you guys back here Anatidephobia, forgive me if I'm mispronouncing that, is the fear of being out of milk. And this is a short horror parody based on the ridiculous phobia, Anatidephobia. Your objective, go to your local grocery store and buy some milk. That's it. Just go down the street and come back. But something's off. You got the small suspicion that you're being watched by someone or something. I don't know. I'm not a storyteller. Okay, so this is simply uh, a parody game off uh, Phobia. I didn't know it was a phobia to be afraid of being out of milk, but apparently it is something special. It, it goes into that category weird phobias. Like, I know there's one where you're afraid of ducks, and I can see spiders or snakes or cockroaches, but ducks, it's just weird to me. But, you know, some people just take that stuff in differently, I guess. I could understand maybe a goose. Those things are mean, especially when they have babies around. They get real nasty, but ducks, they're, they're cute. So anyways, yeah, so fear of being out of milk. We're going to, I think we're going to realize we're out of milk and we got to go to the grocery store and come back home and that's it. But it won't be that simple. Of course it won't in this game. Let's bring in our main host himself. I'm sure he's got plenty to say about a fear of being out of milk. The devil himself. Are you kidding me? This is a real fear? Yeah, apparently it is. Oh my goodness, it's like somebody being afraid of hearing someone sneeze or cough lightly. Ugh. You need a more manly fear, like fear of sharks. Yeah, you got that fear, don't you? <laughs> no, I don't. I am Alpha Prime. I'm as manly as they come, Balamore. How dare you even insinuate that- What was that? Oh, that was nothing. Okay, well, I thought I heard something in the distance. Anyways, I was just talking about how these wussy man fears that- what, what, No, no, there's something there. Oh, is there? Don't mess with me, boy. If you know what's good for- Oh my god, it's around, isn't it? Don't you release your shark on me. You were saying people have really weird fears? Yes, yes, yes. Me, a deity, has no fears, but you mortals have the weirdest fear. Balmore, where is it? I don't know. Are you being paranoid? Maybe have a phobia? Oh, how dare you even question me? Oh my god, it's coming! Balmore! Balmore! <laughs> it's not funny. Okay, fine. There are fears we all have. Even the devil. Yes, that's the point I was making exactly. I know what your phobia is, though, Balamore. I've told you that what that is. Oh, that doesn't have the effect I wanted. You're afraid of bees. Yes, I'm afraid of all forms of bees. Hornets, wasps, even the honeybees freak me out. It's because I was stung so much as a kid with whole hives. The only thing I didn't have crawling all over me at one point, stinging every ounce of my body, were bumblebees. I don't seem to mind them either. They're the only ones that haven't stung me. I don't want one, you know, super close, but they don't bother me. I'll work away with them near me. All right, well, I'm going to be eating my popcorn. Of course, it's got extra innocent Christian blood all over it. While I watch you play this LP, I'm ready for some spooks, boy. The game developer better deliver and kill my buddy Balamor off i need to see your christian blood spray everywhere all right well hopefully the game dev does not disappoint without further ado let's do this 
Oh, I like the little sound it made when you click play. It's like retro. Okay. I like the over the screen overlay. It makes it look pixelated. I don't know what button is interact. There's no jump. It's just kind of a walking sim. All right, we're out of milk. We have to go to the store because God forbid we're out of milk. You know, there's no shelving in here and we're out of everything. But that milk, we got to make sure it's uh, it's well stocked. That was a good door noise too. Oh, this is pretty cool. Very simple. <laughs> they slapped this together. Just put an overlay on it. There's no textures at all. That's funny. It runs very good though. So I'm impressed. All right. What way is this? That looks dark. I think the store is down that way. All right. Just in case we're going to obey traffic laws. Not that there's going to be any traffic. But I want to, I don't want to miss, miss any spooks. We should probably, no, let's cross the road when we get down here. Notice there's no traffic lights or stop signs. It's a free for all. I would not want to drive in this city. At least we got lights. Okay, something pittered. I heard that. That was good. It's so silent. I wonder what it is. It has a little pitter to it. <laughs> oh, it was a door I heard. I was like, is that a car? Welcome to 69. Let me know if you need anything. Do you have milk? Yes. You can find it in the back. Thanks. <laughs> I like the little person. It's so simplistic. Oh, what is this? He's that door. Yeah, they're cleaned out. This must be right as the pandemic hit. I couldn't believe the grocery stores looked apocalyptical. Well, the one case door with an actual handle is the milk one. They couldn't put a handle on any of the other doors, I see. All right, let's grab our blue untextured carton of milk here. What was that? You guys, am I seeing things? Did you see that? Was that a reflection? No, there was something there. Oh, that's cool. Unless my eyes are playing tricks on me. All right, it'll be about four bucks. Have a nice trip home. All right, person with no features at all except a little tiny neck. This is really creepy. I thought it was a little dog or something at first. But I, I'm convinced I'm going to watch it again when I go to edit this. Like a black thing. I couldn't tell where that was coming. It was like clapping at me. I am a little nervous. Well, our apartment is right up here. Yeah, we are going to buy by traffic rules. Is 
Just out of curiosity, these doors work? No. Okay, I didn't think they did. Who is that? Or what is that? It's very low to the ground, just like the thing I saw. <laughs> Let's slam the door. Hey, there's nothing wrong. Let's just go in. Hello, demon. You trashed my place. Move the TV. This is a real studio apartment, too. There's no sink, just one refrigerator. You can have your TV. You probably have a community bathroom. Is there anything else? Man. Well, it's in here. You know it is. Let's see. All right, guys, so that was Anatidophobia, or however you say that, out of milk for the PC. Don't forget down below in the description is a link to this game. You can play it for yourself. And there could have been some sort of secrets or other things outside the world. If you walk down the street, maybe turn down a side street, I have no idea. But I will let you guys try to find that out if you want. I liked it. It was a cute little game, and <laughs> there was a goose in the refrigerator. Was that the thing? The thing I saw was like black and uh, the eyes were wider than a goose. So I'm not sure. I think that was just uh, a thing they threw in. There could have been um, something with the game jam this was created for where you had to include a goose. Because I thought I played another one recently where it made that goose quack noise when you clicked exit. But yeah, I like this game. Cool little horror game. Satan, what do you think, buddy? What the hell did you just play? You saw what I played. That was weird. I do, uh, have to say I've grown to like the weird ones, though, so I kind of liked it. Yeah, me too. Why don't we get right to the review, buddy? Uh, do they have a phobia where you're out of blood? Or I should say out of extra innocent Christian blood? <laughs> You have that phobia? I do worry all the time. I gotta, you know, I come upstairs to do an LP with Balamore and I'm like, oh God, do I have enough extra innocent Christian blood on me? I always am worried I'm going to be out and then I'll have to eat popcorn without my favorite sauce. Oh, that would suck. Yeah, that would totally suck. All right, let's do the review, buddy. All right, let us begin. Alright, alright. The part of the LP where Satan himself does the review. Don't forget on a scale 1 to 10, if you get a 4.0 or below game dev, you, everyone involved, all of your souls and your trash game go right to hell for all eternity to burn. Ooh, I like it when you add the burn. Yeah, I thought you would. Anyways, if you get a f above a 4.0, congratulations, you get to live temporarily but at least you get to live he takes everybody so feel honored he's gonna let you live i never let them live i say i do but i never do oh come on now you'll let them live we'll see take a deep breath here we go okay a native day folk what the hell is that word balamore what? What is that word? I don't know. Just say whatever. You're the uh, Alpha Prime of all humanity. The God of all. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, play it again. Let me get my uh, my voice down for this big review. <coughs> balls drop, balls drop. Manly, manly, balls drop. <coughs> okay, I'm ready. Anatidaphobia. Out of milk. I give it a review score of... Five... Out of 10. That is a 5.0 out of 10, Balamore. I thought you would like it. You think nothing, boy. You have no idea what a deity thinks. I got a good idea what you think. You think you do, but you don't, Balamore. I know what you think. Oh yeah, what am I thinking right now? You're flipping me off. Well, I'm always thinking that, actually. Oh, I knew because I'm God. Well, you like the game. Good. So we have a few more to do in this uh, recording session tonight. Oh, goody. Maybe this next one uh, won't be a phobia for a sissy. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be. All right. I'm intrigued. Hopefully they kill you off or I'm going to be taking them right to hell. <laughs> you laugh away, but I'm going to straight up take them to hell. Just like this game developer. Even though they got a five, they're going right to hell because they didn't kill you off. Oh. Oh, right. They're already down there. Oh, that's right. You make quick work of people. I don't play around, buddy. 
I don't play around. Their game might not have been utter trash, but they didn't kill you off, and that's all that really matters to me. Oh, and uh, their performance. Well, it ran very well. Can't you cut them a break? The only thing I'm going to be cutting is their heads off over and over and over. All right, well, there's no talking out of it. Oh, <laughs> you can't talk me out of anything. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay nonetheless, and we'll move on to the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, as always, later.